Here we are live on location on the shore of this Caribbean Sea in the most beautiful bay in the beautiful city of Cartagena. To give you a blow-by-blow -blow coverage of this momentous race, where you will see all the best women skaters of Colombia. These women have gathered here today to prove to us that they are indeed world-class skaters. Ladies and gentlemen, today we can make history as one of these courageous athletes competing right now could be the next big thing in the world of skating, so stay tuned! Listen dear, instead of spending so much time skating, why don't you just go to college and study to get a real career in the future? Be prepared, my darling. I don't want you to end up like me. Look, I'm here at the bakery all day long, and I sometimes need to work at night. The bakery isn't even mine, and I don't have any ambitions in life anymore. Oh, Mom, don't worry about that. Look, I'm going to do just fine. I'm completely sure that I'm going to win this team. I promise Even you. if you win, darling, that won't assure you a secure life. Believe me, for God's sake. Listen, dear. Look at your grandfather. Your grandpa won many races. He was a very famous man. He had lots of friends. Until the day he got injured, and that was it. Because no one even dared to look at him again, not even to spit on him. Tell me, what was all that sacrifice for? Did he benefit from being a champion? And finally, here she is, Gabriela Rueda, the breakout star in this race. This rising athlete, with her courage and determination, has been making waves the past months, and today she's knocking at the door of fame and success, as she could be skating her way to earn a spot as a new member of the national skating team that will participate in the World Cup to be held in Japan. Could I borrow some money from you? I just need to buy something. Are you still gambling, Dad? How could you say such a thing? I already promised you and your mother that I wouldn't gamble again. So just relax. May lightning strike me dead the day I gamble again. I just need money to pay some things I bought from Chepe. You know, beers and snacks. Nothing else, dear. <laughs> The competing skaters are now complete. Months of hard work and dedication are already in the past, because only the first five skaters to reach the finish line will move on to the finals. Everything is already set. The judges are here. The skaters are ready. You can see in their faces how determined they are to win. Many things come into play here. They are entrusting themselves to the divine providence. And the race is about to begin. And the race has begun. They have started the race, ladies and gentlemen. The race of 3,000 meters. The crowd favorite, Claudia Velasco, takes the lead. While the team stays together, she gets one light of three, four, five meters. The team doesn't seem to be worried. There is a long way ahead and many things could still happen in this race. This first leg is an easy round, but still a leg that matters. They need full concentration. A bad strategy could screw everything up and the sacrifice would be in vain. And we now enter the second leg. The team begins to break up. Perez and Tropiano try to get out, but they are controlled by Velasco's teammates. That's teamwork. There is a new attack from Gabriela Rueda, who came from behind. She suddenly passes three skaters at once. Gabriela keeps moving forward, and we weren't expecting this violent reaction, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great race, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriela is still leading the pack of her team. The distance between her and Velasco is estimated to be less than 20 meters. If Gabriela keeps that amazing rhythm, we are going to have a great final leg, everyone. And we now enter the final leg, the bell rings. The distance is not that long anymore, but it seems to be enough to assure Velasco's triumph. She is still in the first place of the competition. Oh, come on. A crippled man runs faster than your daughter. She's going oh, to lose. Up. And don't you dare insult my daughter, you moron. Come on, let's face the truth. She will lose. My daughter might not make it, Cartagena, but yours couldn't even make it to the neighborhood team. Because she did not sleep with a coach. Neither did my daughter. And how dare you imply wait, that wait, she wait, did? Wait, 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 gentlemen. Come on, calm down, please. Huh? Behave yourselves. Guillermo, don't argue with this bitter man uh. right here. Let's just watch the race. Anyway, there's not much to Oh, come watch. on, Wacko. Just shut up. You're annoying. Turn the volume up because we can't hear anything. No, not you. Well, anyway. This Velasco. Yeah. What a final round. Oh, my. These girls are really awesome. Viewers, hold your breath. We're a few seconds away from the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just a few seconds away from knowing who the finalists 
of this race of 3,000 meters will be. The skaters have shown how dedicated they are, giving their heart and soul to this race. They are approaching the finish line and they are really even. No one is giving up. Everyone wants to win. They are risking a lot right now. And they know very well that this is the most important race of their lives. Three meters, two meters. Gabriela goes ahead. The first place goes to Gabriela Rueda. Gabriela Rueda bagged the first place. This ah, race has she did it. Failed. Yeah, he won. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, this race is ah. She won! <laughs> this girl Your deserves daughter was to just win. lucky, you know. It was and besides her victory, it's pointless because she's not even part of the national team. Uh, and let me tell you, there's no chance for her to make it. But tomorrow she will. You can count on that. Keep dreaming about that, and you're going to be disappointed for sure. Listen, man, I bet you know that tomorrow Claudia Velasco is going to win the race. And she's going to kick your daughter's ass. Let's bet twice as much as we bet the last time we played the cards. Are you scared to lose? You promise you'll never gamble again. What happened for Pete's sake? What do you want? Did I let that animal insult my daughter? Didn't you realize that Mr. Huaco just wanted to make you fall for it? And you did. You're a lost cause. But this time around, he's the one who is going to be speechless. Because tomorrow my daughter's going to win for sure. I'm confident And if she that. doesn't win, where are you going to get all that money to pay him? Wait a minute. Are you saying that... Are you trying to tell me that my little girl is not going to win? I can't believe you're saying that. No way. I'm not saying that Gabriella's not going to win. You know that I admire her more than anything in this world. Then what is the problem, huh? The problem is you've broken a promise to your wife, Olga. You promised her you'll never gamble again. If she finds out about this, you're screwed. She will never find out that I broke my promise. Am I clear? And if she does find out, then I have no one else to blame but you and your big mouth. And in that case, it's between you and me. Then you'll never be... My How son, think that I'm going to open my mouth, Guillermo. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> then good. That's the way I like it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> did you see how Perez blocked us? Yes. You did very well, Gabriela. Your strategy was effective. Oh, yes, it was. The other skaters were really competitive. Thanks to you, it wouldn't be possible if you didn't let Gabriela, me. what's going on here? We haven't won anything, or did we and I haven't noticed it? No, coach, you're right about that. Or should I congratulate you for all the mistakes you made during the race? I told you not to wear yourself out, and that's exactly what you did. You almost killed yourself just to beat Claudia, when you can just settle for a second place but finish. Don't you see? Listen, if tomorrow you are not among the first five placers, this is over. You're not going to be part of the national team or anywhere at all. I promise you that. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. I'm so glad everything turned out so well. Thank you, Mom. We watched the entire race from start to finish. Yes, my Congratulations, cousin, we all my did. dear. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. You guys are so sweet. My love, are you all right there? Are you sick or something? No, mom. I'm okay. It's just that I'm a little tired. That's all. Um, mom, okay. can you talk to my grandpa? Sure, I will pass the phone to him. God bless you, my darling. Give me the phone. Please tell her that she has to do everything uh, she can to win that race. Hello, my child. Hey, what's wrong? Hello, Grandpa. What's wrong, my dear? I wonder what's wrong. Shouldn't you be celebrating right now? We didn't celebrate. The coach said it was a disaster. Is that really what he said? What did she say? So according to him, you won just because you were lucky? Maybe, Grandpa. He said something like that. Well, tomorrow you're going to show him that you can get what you truly deserve. If you won, it was because you did a good job. And because you're worthy to be part of the national delegation. Do you understand? Are you listening to me? Yes, Grandpa. Remember that if you're among the first five places, you're already in. So you don't have to hurry at all. Grandpa, I'm worried because you know very well that road competitions is one of my weaknesses. Don't worry, my dear. As long as you stay firm and know the place where you are going to skate, the rest will be easy. <sighs> Grandpa, I have to go now because I'll be meeting my coach in a second. Fine, my now. darling. Go ahead. And don't worry because tomorrow everything is going to be just fine. Yes, Grandpa. God bless you. What is that? Nothing, Grandpa. I just miss you a lot, and I would like you to be here with me. I miss you too, darling. Take care. Bye. What, what did, did she say? say? What happened? Tell us what Gabriella Nothing. said. Nothing. Just going relax, on? you two. Like what you just heard, I was giving my granddaughter some advice from a sportsman Is to a sportswoman. Is she going to win tomorrow? <clears throat> hey, why are you so interested if our daughter wins or not? She's my daughter, isn't she? Tell us the truth. How much did you bet this time? Uncle, are you betting again? See, I just don't know how to react anymore. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. What should I do? How much did you bet? Zero pesos. When are you going to understand that I'll never bet again until the <laughs> day I die? Yeah, right. <laughs> you can think whatever you want. You're so irritating, you know that. <sighs> Let's go.
Pablo, are you going to answer me? What do you want me to tell you? <sighs> you promised to introduce me to your parents. And I will, don't worry. When is that? I don't know, Martina, just wait. Pablo, I didn't come from so far away just for you to sweep the issue under the rug. I thought that meeting your parents was something serious. That we were going to make our relationship official by that. And what makes you feel that it won't be that way? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Because since I got here, you haven't stopped doing silly stuff. Like partying, going out, drinking, and everything. Don't you think that you already had enough of partying and having fun? Pablo, I love you. But at this point of my life, I don't want to live this kind of life anymore. I want to get married. I want to have a home, to have children, and I want a steady life. <laughs> I want to be with a man that loves me and makes me happy. To be honest, I think it's better for you to pack your stuff and go back to Argentina to look for someone who could love you, someone who could make you happy. But, Pablo... <laughs> You don't deserve to be with someone like me, you know. Uh, Pablo, what's happening? Are you serious? Of course I am, Martina. Everything is very clear. I had a great time with you. I really did. of the National Women's Skating Championship that was held in the city of Cartagena, where Gabriela Rueda, an up-and-coming skater, beat Claudia Velasco in a spectacular race. Claudia Velasco was the crowd favorite. The National Championship takes place this weekend in Cartagena. The first five placers will be part of the National Skating Team of Colombia that will compete Hello? for the World Championships. Oh, my dear, I thought something bad happened to you. Oh, Mom, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Why aren't you answering my calls then? What could happen to me anyway? I was going to call you. I was just busy, Pablo, that's your all. father and I were expecting you last night, and your father is very furious with you. See... Furious is an understatement. You could have at least called us to say that you were not coming over at all. Hello, Dad. Don't even say hello to me. Your mother made dinner for you last night, and her effort was wasted once again. You were out all night drinking, right? I couldn't get a plane ticket. Do you know how old you are? Oh, come on, Dad. For how long will you live with that lifestyle as if you're a teenager who escaped from his cage? Listen to me right now. You fly back here as soon as possible so you can start working for the factory. About that, Dad, I want to propose something. I think we can postpone my employment at the factory because there's a course in Europe that I want to take. It might enhance my skills. Oh, <laughs> no, no way, son. You can't keep fooling me like that, using courses as an excuse to escape work. You have been studying for many years and there are no results at all. You only have one degree and we don't even know if that degree is authentic. Hey, Dan, just take it easy. You can have a heart attack with that temper of yours. Oh, come on, Efrain. You have to calm down. You don't need to talk to him like that. We haven't seen him in a long time and you are going to scare him away. I'm ordering you to come here to Bogota and I want to see you here by tomorrow. No, Dad, I can't make it tomorrow. No more excuses. You will come here tomorrow or else. For crying out loud, it's time for you to grow up. I'll expect you tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Well, I came to tell you that I'm planning to skate along the street where we're skating tomorrow. Would you like to join me? No, Gabriela. Weren't you listening to Luis? He said we need to stay here in the hotel. You know how he gets when we don't listen to what he says? He'll be mad for sure. I know, but I'm getting bored with this place. I can't do anything here, and it's killing me. Well, you can go to the beach and relax there. Whatever you want. No, no, Sylvia. You know I have to skate at least once along the route, right? Or I won't be able to sleep all night. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'll be a mess. <sighs> Just come with me. I won't go with you, Gabriela. I have better plans today, and that doesn't include skating. All right. I'm still going. But you'll cover for me, won't you? Look, I promise. I'll be out for only half an hour. Okay? You better do. I'll see you. <laughs> Yeah. 
what's up? Come on, pass me over, brother. Pass me over. Hey. You ran a red light. How could you drive so fast without taking precautions? Me. Please help me. Come down. Just take it easy. Let's go. Open the door of my car. Come on. Hurry up, please. Don't worry. Take Miss. it easy. Everything Hold will on. be all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now move. Now, now, now move. Go hurry up. Thanks, man. Everything's going to be all right, miss. Just hang in there. Come on. Hurry up. Hello, police station. This isn't the right time to complain, Mom. Look, you need to help me find a surgeon or a doctor or whatever, quickly. I'm about to get to the hospital. Okay. Hang in there, miss. Please, I'm begging you, don't die on me, okay? Just hang in there. It was a car accident, Doctor. Doctor, I brought her here as fast as I could. I don't know what happened her to her. Her blood pressure is very low. What's going to happen to her, Doctor? Tell me, what's going to happen to her? I have to examine her first. Just stay calm for a while. Wait in the waiting room, because I have to examine you as well. No, wait, don't worry there. about me. No, Just wait tell me what's going to happen to her, Doctor! Excuse me, sir. Are you with the girl who was in the accident? Yes, Mrs. Mercedes, I saw him. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Well, yes, I'm with her, officer. Is there a problem? Mr. Pablo? Yeah? Nice to meet you. I'm Diego Botero. I just spoke with your mom. I'm your lawyer. Lawyer? Look, I asked my mother to get in touch with a doctor to take care of the lady. I didn't ask for a lawyer. He's my client. Anything you want to talk with him about, you can talk with no, me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, mister. Please, just let me take care of this. Go inside and let the doctors examine you. Go now. And what about Pablo? I know that boy can get himself out of trouble easily. You mean you're just going to let him go to jail? Well, that isn't a bad idea. He needs to learn his you lesson. You are out of your mind. You're crazy, afraid. No matter what happens, I won't let my son go to jail, that's for sure. Let me tell you something. Don't you realize that among all the stupid things that Pablo has done in his life, this is the worst? This is just you too much. You cannot just say that because we still do not know what really happened there. Well, I still believe it still wasn't his fault. For how long are you going to keep protecting him? Until he kills someone? No. That kid needs to be punished and not you letting him get away from all these things. Look, Pablo is lonely. He is not aware of what he is doing. He needs help from no, us. No, my dear. 
He needs to learn his lesson, and I'm going to teach him as soon as he gets back here. I'll make sure that his game will be over. He will have no choice but to learn his lesson, because he'll only do what I tell him to do. Pablo has to grow up once and for all. Mrs. Mercedes. What happened? Your son got into a more serious trouble than we thought. Attorney Botero, do whatever it takes. But please, you have to get him out of there as soon as possible. We can't have problems with the police, do you understand? Yes, Mrs. Mercedes. Attorney, what happened? I asked about her condition and she's out of danger now. Great, I'll go and see her now. Hey, wait a minute, Mr. Pablo. If they see you there, I'm sure the doctors will turn you into the police right away. If that's the price I have to pay for what I've done, then I won't run away from it. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in prison? <laughs> wait, but you just said she's out of danger now, right? Fortunately, she's alive. But you still have legal responsibilities for it. You knocked her down with your car after running a red light. And you were also drinking. Besides, you don't have the papers of the car. Look, Pablo, she's fine with only a few fractures from the accident. Don't make things worse for you. You need to think about your family here as well. Listen, take this plane ticket to Miami. The flight will take off in an hour. But what's gonna happen with her? I can't just leave her here. Don't worry about her. I'll take care of everything and I'll keep you posted. Just go to Miami and a medical team will be waiting for you there to take care of you. Please, leave now. where he is. Anyway, the doctor said she's out of danger now, but she has a brain concussion and her femur is fractured. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I really think that Gabriella will never be able to compete again. What's up, honey? Did you get the job? No, I didn't. But honey, didn't you tell them who you are and how famous you were, that you have participated in the best teams of the country, that you were one of the best who competed for a place at the national team? Yes, I did, Grandpa, but you see, in order to be a trainer, at least you have to have a degree, and I don't even have one. Isn't it good enough that you have an experience as a skater? Well, unfortunately, not here and not in any of the other places we've been so far. I can't believe this. What are those people thinking about? You're one of the best skaters of this country, for crying out loud! <laughs> Among the twisted skaters, maybe? <laughs> well, you gotta admit, Grandpa, after the accident, I'm more twisted than a hanger, right? But don't worry, the hardest part is about to come. Yes, I know. Mm. Your mother... When she finds out I didn't get this job, she's gonna be very happy. I told you I was going to pay you back the next month. What else do you want? What's your What's problem? The problem? Do you really want me to tell you what the problem is? I'm sick of that guy coming here and asking me for that money as if I had to pay for the mistakes you made in the past. Why do you pay so much attention to Waco? He's just an old annoying guy, that's all. The older you get, the cynical you become. Tell me why did you have to bet, huh? Explain it. I'm so sick and tired of this already, you hear me? I'm so sick of this situation. Every freaking month, it's just the same crap. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of Gabriella's treatment. All the expenses of this house are killing me. Will you please calm down for a second, honey? Try to think about it. You know that the situation is very difficult for all of us these days. No one wants to pay. No one wants to pay? Then why don't you get a job where you actually get paid, huh? I'm just asking for a break, for you to help me a little. Don't you still get it? I can't stand this anymore. Sweetie, I hope they offered you a good salary because as we all know, you're a very important person and you deserve it. What happened? You didn't get the job, did you? Oh, Yurani, I realized Mom is definitely right. I can't be so close-minded in this life. I must accept I'll get nothing in sports. Or in the skating world. 
Oh, Gabriella, I'm not trying to bring your spirits down, but we both know that you're not really good at doing other things, am so I right? So what can I do then? Will I just stare at the ceiling while my mom works her butt off? No, I can't do that. That's unfair to her. Gabriella, it's not only you who should make a move here. Your father should get a job to help her with the expenses. Yeah, I keep dreaming for the impossible, dear. My father has never done anything. Never! And I bet he never will. Oh, come on, Gabriella. You can do whatever, but don't ask that jerk Ernesto for a favor. Oh, but too bad. That jerk is the only chance I have right now. Are you sure you want to owe him that favor for the rest of your life? Do I have another option, Yurani? No. I need to get a job. I need to earn some money. And if that's the only chance I have to get it, then I'd gladly do it. No regrets. Oh, Gabriella. Let's not argue about this. I can't expect impossible things to happen. I know I have to do this. What about skating? Hmm? Don't tell me you're giving up on it and you'll become an ordinary person now. <laughs> well, the situation at home is getting more critical. So I have to. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're finally going to turn your life into something better, Gabriela. Huh? That's great. Good decision. If you had just told me this earlier, I'd probably have given you a job at the company. In the administration department? Nah. There's no vacant position left in that area, no. Well, we can try in the other areas, but... I'm just wondering if a woman... as pretty... and as fancy as you... would do such kind of job. It's fine as long as I get paid. Ernesto, I'll accept whatever that job is. Let me tell you something first. I heard they need a personnel at the plant. Hmm? Okay. But look, I'm not sure if they're going to hire you because you don't have any experience. And besides, it's hard work. One more thing. You'll get minimum wage. No, it doesn't matter. Are you sure? Of course. That's great. That's the attitude, Gabriella. Very good. Listen, I'll call the supervisor now. I'll tell her about this to help you with it, with your papers, because, you know, I'm not the one who hires people. I have to ask for a favor. I have to stay humble, though. I'm already in the position. You get it? One thing's for sure, Gabriella. I'm willing to do anything for you. Because you're pretty and I like you a lot. Wait a second. By the way, when are we going to dance again? We haven't gone out in a very long time, right? <laughs> Just give me a second. Hey, wait. I need to talk to someone first. All right. You can leave your hand if you want. <laughs> What did Ernesto say? Oh, he wants to thank you for the snacks. He said he likes oh, them a lot. Not about that, Gabriela. Is he going to help you or not? Well, he's helping me get a job. Really? <laughs> <laughs> She's a very sweet girl. You'll surely love her. Is she of legal age? Does she have all the needed papers? You know what I need is a serious and responsible yes, worker here. Yes, of course. I can guarantee it. Is she involved with you? <laughs> well, ah, I'm still working on it. Oh, Ernesto, come on, give me a break. It would really make me happy if you'd help me get a job for her in the company. I promise she won't let you down, okay? Mr. Efrain, how are you today? You busy with... He's been acting strange lately. Well, yes, who knows what's bothering him? The only thing we can do is just to pray for him. What did you say the name of the girl was? Her name is... Gabriela Rueda. Mm-hmm. He has arrived! I just saw him! That's good. Guess I'll see you at home then. Efrain. Yes, honey? Look, I will ask you a favor. I want you to treat him well when you see him. Please be nice to him, okay? He is still your son after all. Yes. I know he's my son. And he's also my biggest problem. A spoiled young man who is finally going to settle down. Uh, hi there, son. <laughs> uh, hey, Mom. <laughs> I am very glad to see you again. Oh, wait, son, I think you'd better get a checkup. Let's go. But what for, Mom? Oh, well, to get the opinion of the best surgeon here in the country. No, Mom, I'm not going back to any hospital. No way. <sighs> Believe me, I'm doing just fine. Mom, do I look gorgeous or what? <laughs> Silence means yes. So how's everything? Is my dad still mad at me, Mom? Hmm. Hmm. Julia, could you please take Pablo's luggage to his room? Mm -hmm. Just leave it there, Julia. Hello, Dad. Leave those suitcases where they are. This man isn't going to live here. <laughs> what? But he just got here. Have you gone crazy? Don't you think it's too early for your lectures, Efrain? No, I'm not giving him a lecture. Not at all. 
I would like to tell you a very important matter. Come with me, please. Hmm. Have a seat. Hmm. All right, how can I tell you this? I'm so tired of your irresponsibility, of your nerve, and of the crazy life you have right now. I want to tell you that if you want to go on with this kind of life, if you want to go on partying, buying cars, having many women, you have to get the money through your own means, Pablo, because from this moment on, that you're not going to get a single dollar from me anymore, not a single cent. I discussed this with my lawyer, and I told him that if anything happens to me for whatever reason, you can't get anything from my company or from what I own. But you can't be very serious. I am a father who wants his prodigal son to mature. Don't you see that he's just wasting his life? I want him to learn the meaning of life, nothing else. So in other words, kicking him out in the streets without money would make him know the meaning of life? Just for one year, that's all. I want to inform you that I have made the decision, and you only have two options to choose. The first one, earn money by your own means and go on doing with your life whatever you want. The second one, Start working as operator at the company for a year. And you must live on the salary they pay you there. On one condition. That no one, absolutely no one, can recognize that you are my son. You are making a huge mistake, Efrain. If you do everything that I say, I can really assure you that you will definitely get all your benefits back. But listen well. If you don't show up to work in my company, what I meant was, if you fail me, if they find out that we are related, that you're my son, I swear to you that for the rest of your life, you will have to earn your living by yourself, Pablo. Do you understand me? So do you honestly think this is the only solution to all of this? What do you want me to do? Keep spoiling him? This kid is going to end up killing someone out there, and soon putting his own life and other lives in danger. Pour him some more hot chocolate. Come on, love. Go ahead, Ernestito. Have something to eat. Just feel at home. Mm, just a little bit. I'm very sorry to bother you now. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's us who should thank you for what you did for Gabriela. How could we thank you enough for that? Mm. Oh, by the way, bro. Uh, I would like to ask you something. When could my little girl get a raise? I think she's not earning enough right now, and that's unfair, you know. At least they pay her, unlike what happens to you. No. Oh. Don't worry about that. I promise I'll get something better for her. Just leave it to me. Ernesto, take care of her, would you please? Hmm? I swear I'll watch her all the time. You can always count on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we ran out of bread. Wait a moment, I'll go get you another delicious whole grain bread roll. Okay, Mr. Back. Memo. <laughs> if everything is already clear, you have to come to the office tomorrow and look for Carmenza. And tell her that you're Pablo Rodriguez. Pablo Rodriguez? Oh, well, of course. If you're going to pretend uh, to be someone else, you cannot use my last name, But, Dad, right? you've gone nuts. You forged an ID card. I will give you the rest of your documents soon. I'll send them to you. This is not legal. If he doesn't get in trouble, nothing's going to happen. You must really be very upset with me to do all this, aren't you? The important thing now is that you look for Carmenza and ask her to help you with everything. If ever you don't show up, if you don't go there, I will probably just think and understand what your decision is. And I will assume you want to go on with your life the way you want it. I will wish you the best of luck. And I will never do anything for you again in my life. Why? What's wrong with all of you? Have you seen a ghost or something? Well, what shall I do? If Gabriela's getting prettier every day. <laughs> You're such a real gentleman, huh? <laughs> oh boy, this is really my lucky day. Imagine this. To be able to take such a gorgeous lady to work every single day. I feel like I won the jackpot in the lottery, huh? <laughs> the one who really won the lottery is none other than you. Gabriela, let me finish this, and I'll be with you.
Here we go, dear. I'm welcoming you to your new world. Hmm? Gabriella. Let's go. Gabriela, this plant is very accessible. There's a bus station just a stone's throw away from here. So don't worry. I'm going to take you to work if I can. I swear that to you. <laughs> hey, what's your opinion? What do you think about the plant? You like it? Yeah, but it didn't look too big from the outside. This is a very special place where I'm taking you to work, darling. <laughs> oh, look, Gabriela, listen well. Let me tell you, the lady sitting over there is Carmencita. She's the production supervisor. She'll be your boss. Huh? She has an attitude. But if you are nice to her, you'll have no problems at all. Come on, let's greet her. Carmencita? I'd like it to meet this gorgeous lady here. This is Miss Rueda, the girl I've been talking about. Nice to meet you, Gabriela Rueda. My pleasure. We work on shifts here. Your shift is from 8 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. All right, we can talk about the rotation later on. I don't like it when the employees are late for work, and I don't like it when they leave before the established time. You have one hour to have lunch, and you can't have it ten minutes earlier or ten minutes later. Understood? Yes, madam. Great. As long as you are punctual with your shifts, and as long as you do your job well, you are not going to have any problems with me. Follow me. Adriana! Yes, madam. Adriana's going to be your partner. She is the best worker we have in the plant, so if you have any questions... Ask her, but don't ask those jackasses with whom you will be working. Yes, madam. Let me yes, introduce madam you Carmenza. too. Gabriella, Adriana, Adriana, Gabriella. You can talk about your personal lives later. For the meantime, go to the dressing room, give a report, and show her how to operate the machine that you will be working with. Yes, madam. All right. Please don't forget that I am very strict when it comes to work. So do what you are told to do. Excuse me for a while. Hello? So. <clears throat> You know what? You have the same expression that I had when I started working here. But you don't have to worry. After 10 years of working here, everything will change. Or at least you pretend. Let's go now. This way, please. The guy I'm talking about, remember? Yes, Carmen, did he come to work? No, he hasn't been here yet. Fine, whatever. If he wants the job, he has to fight for it. If you have another candidate for the said job, well, you can hire anyone. Thanks, Carmenza. What if something bad happens to him? Nothing bad's going to happen to him. He thought I was just kidding, huh? But I swear... I swear it to you, Mercedes. If your prodigal son doesn't go to work today, he'll have to assume the consequences, because I'm going to do everything I uttered. He won't get a single dollar from me, not a single cent, you hear? I swear that to you. But, uh... Sure, I think in a hotel. Your father is very mad at you right now. You were supposed to be at the plant early this morning, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just that I had a few drinks last night with my friends, that's why. Have you been drinking? After everything that has happened to you, Pablo? Well, the thing is that... Did you forget what your father had told you yesterday? No, Mom, of course not. I haven't forgotten that. Then why did you drink? Listen carefully, Pablo. I have covered for you every time you fool around. And I have supported all your crazy actions. But this time, I'm not going to be against your dad. If you don't do every single thing he has asked you to do, do not expect me to help you out. You're going to be left alone without a single penny. And finally, you will not be able to live the life that way you wanted it to be. Madam Mercedes, I won't let you talk like that to your only son. Did you hear me? I'm your only son. <sighs> hey, Mom? Hello? Hello? Uh... Carlos, this is Mercedes Franco. Hello there. I'm fine, thanks a lot. I need to ask you something. 
Please tell me, what do I have to do if I want to cancel all the credit cards and all the bank accounts on my son's name? Is my cab here yet? Oh, yes, sir. It's outside. Thanks a lot. Mr. Pablo. Uh, yes? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Here. How many installments, sir? Um, it's up to you. Okay? All right. Are you leaving your credit card here? Yeah, don't worry. I'm coming back tonight. Bye. See you. Good morning, Madam Comenza. You are already late, son. Yes, I know, but it's only just a little past eight, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I really didn't think it was very mm. late. But I'm sure you have a pretty good idea why I'm late. And I really don't care. You know how terrible the traffic is in the city, Yes, right? I do, mister. And there are traffic jams everywhere. Oh, really? Look, Madam Carmenza, I'm begging you, please. Listen very well. If you're late on the first day of work, I assumed you will do it every day. I'm gonna be on time every day, and I'm never gonna let you down again. <laughs> Look now, according to my experience in this position and in this company, what you said is almost impossible. So please don't go any further. Madam Carmenza, what if I'm an exception to the rule? <laughs> you are Listen, making me please, laugh, give son. me one last chance, madam. That's the only thing I'm asking you. Please don't make me suffer. If I'm late tomorrow, you can fire me, but please let me start working today. I beg you. I used to skate. Is that a job or something? You don't think so? Well, you get paid for doing that? Oh, well, of course. Look, being a skater is almost like being a professional soccer player. But instead of soccer cleats, you wear skates, am I right? Huh. Indeed, that is awfully true. So tell me, Gabriella, why did you retire if you were doing so well? I had an accident. Did you get a broken skate, Rueda? <laughs> Don't be very silly, girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What happened is that a drunk guy knocked me down. Hello. That's the girl I told you that started working with us today here. Miss, are you all right? Hey, miss. Just hang in there. Please stay with me. Call a doctor! Help me, come on! Hey, miss. What did you say your name was again? Gabriela Rueda, ma'am. Gabriela, that's it. Guys, this is Pablo. He will also start working with us today together with Gabriela. Don't be friend. 